Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I am so excited today because I've been looking for years to find a smooth or rough green snake. And I finally found one in a very unexpected place. Right now, you can see the brick wall or stone walls behind me. I'm at Bear's Den Hostel on the Appalachian Trail, about 20 miles from Harper's Ferry just past the thousand mile point from Springer Mountain, Georgia. And laying out on the trail today was this rough green snake. Today's episode is about rough green snakes and my excitement about finding this one. It's just an incredibly beautiful specimen. Stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's the make this invasive. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. So I've been section hiking the Appalachian Trail in the state of Virginia. And today I was approaching Bear's Den Hostel. It's about 20 miles from Harper's Ferry, Virginia, and I'm very soon going to finish all 540 miles of the Appalachian Trail in the state of Virginia. And there, lying on the trail in front of me, is a northern rough green snake. And I was so excited to see it because I've never seen a live green snake. Green snakes are, are hard to find or hard to see because they do blend in and they do camouflage so well. So I think they're more common than people realize. They're just rarely seen. So I was just so excited to see this green snake. And I picked them up and I brought them up to the lodge or hostel at Bear's Den. And these are the photographs and videos that I took of it. So the scientific name of the rough green snake is Ophodryas estivus, and I'm terrible at pronouncing scientific names. The first part of the name, the Opho, means serpent in Greek, and the second part means tree, and estivus means summer. So this is a snake that's found in trees in the summer, and, and truly it is an arboreal species. It's found between grasslands and forested areas, and its bird habitat is grass and shrubs, an uh, area of, uh, of tall grasses and weeds interspersed with shrubs and small trees. So I was kind of surprised to find them actually in the forest, because this, this was located actually in the forest on the trail. How to identify a rough green snake? Well, obviously the color stands out, they're gr bright green on the top and a white yellow to creamy belly underneath. It's a small snake. It's very, very slender, very small head, small mouth, and really can't even bite at all. And it, they rarely bite. I was looking at the Virginia Herpetological website. It said that the record long green snake was 23.6 inches long. <laughs> They're very similar to the smooth green snake, which also occurs in Virginia. And the difference is the keels on the scales. Smooth green snakes get their name smooth because there's no keels on the snake scales. And the rough green snake, the scales are keeled. So these are primarily arboreal species, but they're most commonly found in fields with grasses and cover and shrubs, as it's described earlier. They are diurnal, meaning they're active during the day, and they tend to sleep in branches up off the ground. When they're out hunting, they'll climb into trees, and when the wind blows the branches, they'll kind of sway back and forth with the br branches to camouflage themselves and not be detected as a predator. They eat invertebrates, mostly insects, spiders, grasshoppers, crickets, but they'll take some other soft-bodied invertebrates as well that aren't too big. These snakes are ovoviviparous, meaning they lay eggs. As I said, I was just fascinated to see this snake 
and to be able to see a live one. I've actually found one or two dead ones that were run over by cars. And a friend of mine recently posted a photo of a dead snake he found on a jogging trail near Richmond, and it was blue. And he posted it on Facebook and asked, what kind of snake is this blue snake? Well, apparently, green snakes, when they die, they'll turn blue. Or if you see one in an old-timey natural history museum preserved in ethanol, they will appear blue when they're preserved. It's an oddity of chemistry after they pass away. Overall, this species is a pretty stable in Virginia, but there's indications that it, like many other animal species, are in decline due to a number of things, including habitat loss. Another part of this decline may be due to getting run over by cars with more roads, more traffic. There's a greater death rate for them, like many other snakes, but also because they feed on insects with increased use of pesticides, the insect population has been decreasing, and this may be impacting the population of green snakes. I have to say again, man, I just was so excited to find this. It was so interesting to see this snake here in Virginia because it looks more like a tropical snake. It doesn't look like a snake you normally see in the state of Virginia. It has that kind of tropical look to it. It was just so cool watching it and watching it move and I released it back down the trail I went back with the snake down the trail released them exactly where I found them which you should always do if you take a moment to look at a reptile or amphibian or a frog or most any other animal always return it exactly to where you found it well I hope you enjoyed this impromptu episode of nature at your door these are my favorite kind of episodes I love showing you what I find as I'm walking either around my house or on a trail close to my home. And here I am at Bear's Den. I have this magnificent carving here at the entrance of the Bear's Den Hostel on the Appalachian Trail. Hope you enjoyed this episode on green snakes. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. Again, today's episode is about things that I find which I know you're probably going to find too and have questions about. So here's the episode on Virginia's Rough Green Snake. Thanks for watching.